raise the bar when it comes to their relationship. <laughs> Well, one of the ways, one of the most powerful ways to do that is to really understand our triggers. Mm -hmm. Triggers that feel so uncomfortable and so ugly and so gross and a lot of times we want to run away, suppress, deny, yeah. and isolate or disconnect when we feel triggered. What we want to showcase today is how triggers are actually and can be these really awesome gifts. These really awesome gifts wrapped in really so. ugly wrapping paper. <laughs> <laughs> really ugly wrapping paper. Yeah, now the reason why they're gifts is because it's another opportunity to find out what hasn't been healed within us. Mm -hmm. When we get triggered, it's literally a resonance happening within us, like a tuning fork. We're resonant, something's happening, and we're like, oh, something's going on. It's a whole law of resonance, and it's a deeper conversation, it's a deeper workshop. We don't have time for that today. But we're going to try to give you a little taste of it, a little bit of awareness. But just know that it's an opportunity. It's a gift because it's an opportunity to find out what hasn't been healed yet within you. So that's step one. Step two is, okay, well, here's an opportunity, but how do I actually heal from it? Right? How do I get rid of that resonance? Mm -hmm. And so we're going to give you a practical tool, something you can take back with you and practice, yes. and hopefully that can help out in the journey. And to also understand, like, why should you care? Right? Like, yeah. why does this really matter in your life? Is one is that we're always going to get triggered. Like, we're always going to have these things that come up, that we have these feelings, these emotions, and a lot of us maybe weren't taught how to deal with those, what mm -hmm. to do with them. Mm -hmm. So we want to showcase to you how you always have two choices, at least two, <laughs> when it comes to triggers. Right? We have this choice to get triggered, you feel this emotion, you can choose to disconnect, to isolate, to run away. And that will create more disconnection in all your relationships, especially one with yourself. Mm -hmm. And then you have this other choice over here, that every time you feel those really uncomfortable feelings that you maybe you want to like do all that stuff, if you can choose the second choice to lean in, to feel, to process, to heal, to grow, you will always get this amazing gift of a deeper connection on a level that you never experienced before. Yeah. Now, so, who wants to get triggered tonight, huh? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yes, okay, it's good, good. Okay, so anger, okay? Instead of doing all the programming these do, just hiding, suppressing, denying, yes. Netflix and chilling. I know, that feels so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's like a holding a beach ball underwater, okay? okay. And, and you're holding it down, and then you got another beach ball, and you got another beach ball, yeah. and it's taking your energy away, Rachel. Yeah, but I have no energy. You're not living fully, Rachel. No, I'm not. What you need to do is welcome the emotions. Yes? Okay, but it feels, <laughs> like, it feels so scary. Yes. See, when you welcome the emotion, yeah. it's like letting go of the beach ball. And it erupts. Okay. Eruption is nice. Uh, <laughs> yes. 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 You want to yes. be free. Yes. 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 I want to be free. I want to okay, be free. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, anger. Okay. Don't say anger. Anger. See, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. Yes. Yes. Uh, I want you to picture. You're in your house, okay? Okay. Doing your morning routines, you're making coffee, eh? Okay. Yes, yes. And, and angry, he's on the door, he's trying to kick down, like, let me in! And you're like, no! No, but it feels so scary sometimes. Yes, yes, like, yes. Man, I don't want to feel all that. And Rachel, Rachel, I want you to open the door. Okay. And I want you to welcome him in. Welcome to the party. Say, hey, come on in. Come okay. on in. I'm okay. glad you're here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, anger. Yeah, yeah. Come on in. Come on in. Yeah, maybe I'm make here. him a cup of coffee, put some collagen here. in it, a little butter. Uh, okay. Take a seat, take a seat. Really feel it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, it's just energy passing through the body, eh? It's just data. You want to just feel anger, huh? Yeah. You want to just, just get out of there, huh? Yes, it's good, huh? Yeah. Just breathe. Better. What was that, Rachel? Yeah, it feels better. What was that? So where, tell me, tell me, tell me, where is my friend Anger now? In the room, in the room. Where is he? I don't know, I think he left. There it is. There it is. See, Anger, you hide, suppress, deny, distract from Anger. It gets bigger and bigger, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you invite him in, and you're like, I'm glad you're here. He's like, nah, I don't want to be here anymore. Mm. Yeah? He just disappears, this guy. I don't know how he does it, but he does it. Yeah, I have like, all these realizations, too, about my past and my childhood. Oh, yes, yes. No, this is good, actually. We need to dissect that, and we need to journal about that and talk about that. But we don't have time, Rachel. Okay, okay. We need to, do you want to rewind yeah, the situation? Yeah, rewind. Let's do it again. Let's try it again. Yeah, let's do a rewind, eh? Okay, okay, all right, I'm ready. I got this button here, huh? Okay, You want to rewind? Yes, let's go. Okay, three, two, one, press this button. There go. Hey babe. Yeah. Can I talk to you about something? Yeah, what's going on? Um, is there something that's been on my heart and my mind and I feel like I really need to express it to you before I explode? Right now I'm kind of a little busy with work though. It can be I can totally see you're busy and if it's okay, I just it's so important to me and I'd love to talk with you if, if it's okay. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, sure, but uh, it's important to you. Um, can you share something? Mm -hmm. Like, every time we have to talk, like, I just kind of, I just want to be vulnerable. Like, it kind of scares me a little bit because, like, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, we need to talk. I'm just, like, worried about what we're going to talk about. Like, but, you know, I want to just, like, I know these are, like, growth opportunities. I know these are, like, opportunities to deeply connect. So I just want to make sure I create a safe space uh, for you to communicate whatever you need to mm -hmm. communicate. Thank you so much for sharing that love. Yeah. What's going on? I want to just breathe together. You don't have to worry. There's something that I discovered and I feel like I really need to share it with you. Yeah. Okay, so you know how we learned that triggers are gifts? Yeah, And totally. the other day I got really triggered at you and I started yelling and screaming at you. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've been working with Juan Pablo on this process. Juan of Pablo. Why, Wait, yeah, he's my trigger translator. He's just so much about this process that I do. So. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I realized recently that... You know, this might sound crazy, but yeah. in my childhood, I grew up around a lot of drama, around a lot of fighting, yeah. and I think I just got, that became my norm, that became my, my comfort zone, oh, and I just wow. got so used to fighting all the time that sometimes when everything's going really well between us, I, and I feel like I have to, like, it feels uncomfortable because oh, it's yeah. so different, yeah, yeah, yeah. and so I think sometimes I've been picking fights with you because wow. it's different than my comfort zone. Wow. And I, I realized recently that I really want to create this deep connection with you. I want to have a loving, supportive, healthy relationship. And I really want to work together so that I no longer just explode. And what I really meant to say was that 
a lot of times when dishes pile up in the sink, for whatever mm -hmm. reason, as silly as this may sound, it just gives me anxiety. Okay, and okay, I would love to work together to figure out a way where we can maybe keep the kitchen a little bit more cleaner, but do it together. Yeah. Wow. Hey, um, like, mind blown. Like, wow. Like, first of all, what an incredible gift you just, like, like realized. Like, um, and two, thank you so much for sharing all of that, especially the way that you did it, like, with the tone and everything. Like, really appreciate that. And look, so I've been, I've been looking at the man in the mirror more than ever. Um, I've been taking these, like, courses from Relationship Renegades, pretty cool company. Like, and, and, and long story short, like, I've been realizing that, like, I haven't been doing what I said I want to do, you know, in this relationship and like with friends and my work and like I just feel so like out of integrity and accountability with myself, especially with you. Mm -hmm. And like I want to change that. And of course, you can start with the dishes, like there's something little. But if it if that creates anxiety for you, like I, why would I want to do that to somebody I love? And so <coughs> you can certainly do that. Um, I have been super busy, but it's like excuse me, do it really quick. Um, but I just wanted to say thanks for sharing, and I'm just glad that we're. Like this feels good, like just mm -hmm. to connect like this because I don't want us to fight, you know. And uh, I just really appreciate you sharing that. Hopefully, we can showcase to you how triggers really can be pretty awesome gifts where you really do get to experience each other on such a deeper level. You get to understand each other better. You get to understand yourself better. You get to know the person that's actually, that you're looking at the mirror at, as well as the person mm -hmm. that's standing in front of you. Yeah. And one of the only ways to discover that deeper knowing, that deeper connection, is through these growth opportunities, a.k.a. as triggers. And the perception around triggers is so daunting and scary, and one of our biggest missions is to help people change the perception, right? Mm -hmm. That it actually is this can be this gift, this mm -hmm. growth. And if we lean in, then we can have those deeper connections. And we always have those two choices. So next time, every time you feel triggered, just know like, okay, I, ha I have choices here. I'm not stuck here. Yeah. I, have, I have the power of choice to choose. And I can choose to give in to all the emotions that I so want to yell and scream and run and, and, and disconnect. But if you do that, it will only lead to more disconnection. Mm -hmm. But if you can lean in and you can grow and ask questions and learn different processes that help you through them. It will lead to some of the most beautiful gifts and a deeper kind of connection and love that you never even thought was possible. Mm -hmm. You know, to add to that a little bit, <coughs> um, one of the things we do in a relationship, because we know that, because we've committed to that, is, you know, the first one, it's it's a game. Like, yeah, why not make this a game, a game right? So, game. like, we know that if one of us is triggered, we know that it's our own shit, because it's something's resonating based on past programming. So we know that if I'm triggered, it's my stuff. She knows if she's triggered, it's her stuff. Of course, we're going to create safe space for us to unravel that together. But the cool thing is that if we're both heated and we're both triggered and it's, it's, it's on, it's, uh, <laughs> what's cool is that we have a game where it's like the first person to be vulnerable, the first person to either own their shit or the first person to like realize something, the gift after doing the work either together or separate or what have you, wins. Yeah. Right, like the win like the game. It, it's because like the ego is so strong. Like, no, I'm not gonna like it's so uncomfortable to like do that. Like, no, it's so strong. But when you kind of add a game, like gamify it a little bit, like okay, then the, the, that muscle gets a lot bigger of like wanting to be vulnerable, saying like it was completely my fault. Like you're absolutely right. You know what? I just learned that I'm like this and blah blah blah. And so it's really cool. And the fact is like, it doesn't matter who elevates first. It brings the other one up. It brings the relationship up. Mm -hmm. When one evolves, the other one rises up. It's just it's a universal law and like so it can just go like that and it's this positive ladder um, that we just have committed to and just really helps out with us and of course our clients um, but if you have any questions or comments on anything that yes. we did of course it was short obviously we'll be here after the show what have you we're happy to answer and that's a way questions. deeper conversation but totally. I mean, that was a very quick version yeah. of what could usually be like a whole day workshop but totally yeah yes. but we can still answer any questions or comments after the yes. show uh, and then of course we're on all social media channels relationship.renegades um, you can join the tribe. We're happy to be a part of your journey and help and serve in any way that we can. Mm -hmm. And we just want to help people create a healthy relationship. Make sure that you guys feel uh, just a lot more peace, love, joy uh, in your life. And just a deeper connection, I think, that we're all craving right now. Yeah. So, and yeah. speaking of deeper connection, I do have one more thing that I forgot to tell you. Wait, tell me. Yeah. Wait, right now? Yeah, it's really cool. Wait, seriously, right now? Okay. Live from Los Angeles!
Angeles. It's the One Man Show. <laughs> that was amazing. That was right. That was amazing. Thank you. That was amazing.